Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Today we will look at the important terms of tree. We have already defined the tree. Tree is a non-linear data structure in which we have root and node kind of a structure. One node is considered as the root and all other nodes are connected to the root by directed or undirected edges. Now we will look at the important terms which we need to define for a given tree. Every node can have an arbitrary number of children. There is no limit a node can have the number of children. But usually we keep it for two child for a each node. So it depends upon the user what kind of a tree structure he wants to define. But it can have an arbitrary number of children also. Nodes with no children are called leaves or external nodes. So there may be cases where a node doesn't have any child that node will be termed as leaf node or external node. In the above picture which we have done through C, E, F, L, G are leaves. Now why they are considered leaves? Because they do not have any child or in other terms I can say they do not have any node connected to them. That's why they are considered leaf or external nodes. These are the important terms which you need to learn to get through the tree structure. Now we will move to the another terms which are very important when we are going to define the height of the tree, when we are going to solve the numerical based on the tree or we are going to rearrange the terms so that we have a proper tree structure. Let us go through them. Nodes which are not leaves are called internal nodes. It is just the opposite of external nodes. In case of external nodes, we do not have any children to the particular node. So the node with children are called as internal nodes. So the nodes which are not leaves are going to be considered as internal nodes. Internal nodes should have at least one child. That is the most important property. So we need to define the terms based on these two categories. That is external node or internal node. So node can be either external or internal. We need to define them based on the number of children it has. So in case of internal node, at least one child should be present. If it is not, then it is considered as the external node. The nodes with the same parent are called siblings. So siblings are what? It is basically the node with the same parent. So we can say two children of the same parent are considered to be siblings. The depth of the node is the number of edges from the root to the node. We are going to have the root and node structure. So number of edges we are going to have, it is going to define the depth of that particular node. All the nodes are arranged at the different different levels. So the depth of the node is the number of edges from the root to the node. Now we will move to the another term that is the height of the node. The height of the node is the number of edges from the node to the deepest leaf. So it is very important to have the deepest leaf connected in the tree structure. So number of nodes from them or I can say number of edges from them it is going to define the height of the node. So let us summarize the entire thing. We have learned about what do you mean by node. We have learned about what do you mean by external node. We have learned about what do you mean by internal node. We have learned about the depth of the node. We have learned about the height of the node. These are the important terms connected to the tree structure. We should have well defined terms for every tree structure. Then should we define the tree. If we do not have this term defined, then we won't be getting the proper tree structure. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to Ikeda channel.